Yeah. Okay, so um, uncivilized vitality is uncivilized anatomy. Continuing with the heart a little bit, let's talk about what makes the heart beat. So we're going to talk about the uh, conduction, um, the electrical impulses that keep the heart beating. So let me erase some of this. From our previous video, we talked about blood flow, circulation route, just kind of a schematic for overall uh, the blood flow. If you don't know what all these little parts are, go back and watch the other video that shows like the directions of the, the flow of the blood. All right, let's talk about, let's do this in green. So the heart's gonna contract and the, the uh, atria or the, the, uh, the base uh, where the atria reside, uh, just deep to those auricles on the surface. I think we did that video, if not, I'll do it. They're gonna contract squeezing and forcing blood into the ventricles through the AV valves, and then they're going to relax. The ventricles are gonna contract, pushing blood uh, out, increasing the pressure, but it's gonna exit through the great vessels, the pulmonary artery from the right, and the aortic, um, the uh, ascending aorta from the left. And you're gonna get right side goes to the lungs, left side goes out to the body or the systemic circulation. And then after some uh, traveling through the blood vessels, we'll return to the right and the left atria and start again. We've gotta coordinate all this squeezing of the body, uh, of the heart, to get that blood flowing and pumping in the right direction. This has to be coordinated. Here in the, the wall of the right atria, kinda where the uh, superior vena cava this is the superior vena cava, would enter, all right, so blood's flowing in, enter into the right atria. There's a little node of tissue right here at that junction. That's called the sinoatrial node, sometimes referred to as the pacemaker. Everybody uses the term pacemaker when we're talking about artificial pacemakers, but this is a little, uh, little section of a little node of depolarizing tissue. And on a certain rhythm, it's gonna depolarize. It's got little, little fibers that spread out through the atria. And when it depolarizes, it causes those muscle cells to contract, right? Muscular tissue, mus um, cardiac muscular tissue is, is uh, slightly different than uh, skeletal or striated and, and or smooth and visceral muscle tissue. So I'm sure we did a video on that histology, but these fibers spread throughout when the SA node depolarizes, fires off the signal, the heart muscle of the two atria are going to contract and force blood down into the ventricles. Uh, the sinoatrial node also has a little bundle of fibers that's going to head down to another little node of depolarizing tissue that's at the, uh, the base of the septum that runs between the right and left ventricles. And this is called the atrioventricular node or just AV node. The AV node is gonna receive that depolarizing signal from the SA node, but it's gonna pause for a minute. It's gonna hold that signal just for a minute, or not for a minute, you know what I'm saying, like microseconds. It's gonna pause, and then it's going to send the signal down through these atrioventricular bundles of fibers, and they're gonna be insulated. They're not gonna depolarize the muscle tissue they pass through in the septum until they get down here to the apex of the heart, and then their fibers are gonna come back up. So the depolarizing contraction wave is gonna start at the apex of the heart and work its way back up. So you remember from one of the other videos, or the internal heart architecture you maybe have seen, the openings to the aorta and the pulmonary artery are located further um, superior and posterior medial in the chamber. So you're gonna wanna squeeze from up here and out. If you just squeeze from the top down, depolarizing in a wave, the blood would just be forced down into the bottom of the ventricles. It wouldn't go anywhere, bottom in this picture. And then uh, uh, it wouldn't go anywhere. So you're gonna start from the apex heart and squeeze the ventricles back toward the atria which you're gonna push the blood in the direction you want. To get that done, you need a little bit of a delay between the SA node, sinoatrial node, and the AV node, and then these, fi these fibers that run, these septal fibers that run down here, which are gonna be referred to as the bundle, the bundle of Hiss. 
Um, I know it looks like it's his, but it's um, like his bat, his ball, his glove. It's uh, the bundle of his or the uh, atrioventricular uh, fibers. And then these fibers that spread back up through the, the um, ventricles are the uh, Purkinje fibers. And then on the right, you've got some smaller um, Purkinje fibers. But because the, the AV node, if you look on the internal architecture of the right, atri or right ventricle, you can see the bundle of his or the AV fibers in the wall. And when you look at that, that's sometimes called the uh, moderator band or the um, septal marginal um, bundle. So that's how the conduction of the heart happens. The SA node sets a tone, depolarizes, the atria squeeze, it relaxes, the signal's been picked up by the AV node, small delay, sends it down the, the insulated bundle of Hiss out to the Purkinje fibers, which are gonna pull back toward the atria. So we're, we're squeezing each time this way and you get the characteristic sound, the lub dub, lub dub. But that's the conduction system of the heart. Sometimes it messes up and uh, you get some weak signals, conflicting signals, your, your muscle of your heart can start depolarizing in odd uh, asynchronous ways, and that would be called uh, fibrillation. Right, you don't want to fibrillate. Uh, so sometimes, like on TV shows, they'll get those defibrillator paddles, and they'll rub them together to build up a charge or something, I don't know. And then they put them on your chest, bang, hit you with that AED, um, automated external defibrillator, and it will uh, override the signal of your natural pacemaker and just sort of reboot that thing, sort of reset it. Uh, if that continues to happen, they can implant, like we see in the lab a lot, they will implant uh, sometimes through the vessels, uh, different ways, they'll get into the heart and they'll implant an artificial machine that's got a little battery that sets its own pace. So you've got an artificial pacemaker and those leads will head into your heart and just override uh, the natural pacemakers, the SA and AV nodes. All right, there's a small, that could make a good question on a test. Explain the conduction system of the heart. Uh, so that's it, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, leave some comments below, and then we'll do uh, a couple more videos. What else in the chest? Lungs, we gotta go over mediastinal spaces. So that's it.